Hey everybody, what's up? Back with another episode of Jack and Joe, What Do You Know? So, we're kicking off this episode with, uh, what is your favorite sport to watch? So, you turn on TV, you want to watch some sports, uh, any sport you want to watch. Joe, what are you going for? Well, I'm going to go for football, but not just any type of football. It's definitely uh, college football. Mm, college And a lot of people disagree because there is a lot to be appreciated with NFL. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. you can't deny it's a much higher level of play. I mean, these are professionals we're talking about. I mean, True. These are the best of the best of you in college, but the stand you get, you get some of these stalemates sometimes in NFL in the NFL that I just it kind of bores me to watch when the score yep. is fourteen to seven and I just watched two quarterbacks get sacked a hundred times by two great defenses you know yeah but college I mean there's some crazy college comeback stories it happens every year there's upsets with mm-hmm. rankings I mean just some of the hype that goes around like top ten teams getting upset it's 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 electrifying and super exciting that's why that's why i like it so much what about you jack oh i agree with the statement about having college sports over professional sports because i'm going for college baseball and the reason i why i like college sports more than professional sports is that the athletes there are younger they have much more athleticism they're quicker they're faster it's just a fun fun game to watch you know when you turn on some professional baseball it's some 35-year-old pitching to some 38-year-old that's been in the league for 10 years and two slow pokes just jogging on down to first base. But when you watch college baseball, they're aggressive. You know, they lay down bunts, they steal bases, you know, they get after it. And it's actually very fun to watch. I actually watched the game the other night. The score was 18-15. to 15. I mean, Oof. they just pile up runs. They're intense. Like, they're intense. They build up the energy. It's very fun sport to watch. Yeah, the energy is another thing. I mean, there's some uh, MLB teams that keep the energy up, but yeah. some of those college kids, man, they there's get rowdy. cheating Astros. <laughs> oh, I hate the Astros. Freaking hate it. All right, Jack, we'll go into our uh, next epi- uh, segment here. Our next segment <laughs> here is going to be your favorite cookout meal. So it's a summer cookout, summer barbecue, your family and friends. Say it's July 4th or any day in the summer. Um, what is your ideal cookout meal? So anything on the grill, sides, drinks, desserts. What are you going for, Joe? Well, hot summer day, July 4th. Pulling up to a pool party of any any kind. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping someone has hot dogs. Hot dogs. Straight up hot Staple dogs. Staple of cookout. Yeah. I, I can't, I, you know, they're easy. I, you know, I could probably eat four if I'm hungry. You know, it's just like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Especially after swimming, you get really hungry because you're yeah. really tired. And, like, your hands are wet. Down. Your hands are wet, so it makes the bread soggy. I love that. It makes that. them go down easier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It makes it much easier. And then for the sides, man, that's that's a tough one. It's not conventional. I mean, I don't see it too often, but when someone has mac and cheese inside, hot dogs Ooh. and mac and cheese on a good day, I mean, good homemade mac mm. and cheese, delicious. Love it. None love of that box stuff, though. The box stuff it. is gross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, um, what are you going to wash it down with? Oh, jeez. You know, I'm a water type of person, but honestly, if someone has blue Glacier Freeze Gatorade there, Ooh. I am chugging that. Mm. I will down that. Very nice beverage. Very quickly. Yes. Um, so my staple cookout meal, I'm going to go with cheeseburgers right off the grill. A nice homemade cheeseburger, um, you know, on the grill. You got to get your lettuce, tomato, ketchup and mustard, staple condiments. Um... For a side, I'm going to go with mac salad. I like some mac salad with my burgers. It's, it's honestly a very good side. It's a good summer side, you know. Whenever I eat mac salad, I feel like it's summertime. Yeah. I'm no yeah. school. I'm with my friends. And then I'm going to wash it down. I usually don't drink soda, but, you know, occasional soda now and then is pretty good. You just grab it straight out of the cooler. You know, you're tired after swimming. You need a little pick-me-up. So the sugary soda, I like to wash it down with my burger and mac salad. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I, yeah, I get this. This bothers me. I was kind of. I wasn't looking forward to addressing this, but I feel like we had to. Yes. You might have noticed me and Jack were gone for a few weeks. There's a big break in the episodes. Well, we were doing some charitable deeds. We were building hospitals in Honduras. Me and Jack with our bare hands, no tools, nothing. You can see the blisters. That's where we were. We were trying to help, help people in need. And sure enough, we come back to being berated verbally by some just preposterous, l- low-rate, l- boring podcast. I don't know. They're uh, what'd you say? Trail jelly and jelly and 
Rezzy, something Rezzy? like that. Jelly and Rezzy. I don't even know their I think names. They're it's just so irrelevant Rezzy. that I can't even recall the name. I, it bothered me because here we are getting, I mean, mega, like 20 views mm-hmm. on some of our episodes. Like 20. The views are skyrocketing I mean, once we post we, to YouTube. Once we hit the once we hit the once we hit the market, people were after us hard, mm-hmm. and here they are. What are they like? Eight views? Eight? 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 I I think I think, I think they make them, up seven of them too. I think their first one was twenty because people felt bad and they kept rewatching it in school. I think they kept rewatching their own video. We have worldwide audiences. I mean, twenty views that could be that could be a household of forty people watching. I got an email yesterday in Taiwanese. Yeah, Taiwanese. I, I had to copy and paste the email into Google Translate to say, "Wow, I love your show. It's amazing. I watch it with my family every night." Taiwanese, just all across the Pacific Ocean. I mean, I, the worldwide popularity of this podcast is just un- incomprehensible, unmatched in in comparison to this other cut rate. Cut rate. Whatever. I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> It's just irrelevant. You, there's not even a boring. word. There's not even a word for it. There's, there's not even the meh. The most uh, yeah. Ugh, I guess terrible the sound. Like it's just like no flow whatsoever to the name. It's just I can't even recall it. If it's if I can't recall it, it's a bad name. I know. Like at least let it stick in your head. Yeah. And you know I feel bad because we're giving them press here. We're giving them publi- publicity. Exactly. But I I couldn't go without without saying something. It's just. Not even members of the BA Blueprint. I know, seriously. Like, that's an elite organization that... Mm -hmm. They they just couldn't even get a part of. The best of the best. The best of the best are in there. Yeah. All right. Well, that that was out of the way. We're done. I'm done. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode of Jack Jack and and Joe, Joe, What What Do You you know? Know?